Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon, guys. Got kind of a nerdy video again for you today. Something I'm curious about myself. We're gonna be putting the 50 Beowulf against the 6.5 Grendel, but not in a way you're typically used to seeing on this channel. This is not a terminal performance test. This is going to see how much of a factor the ballistic coefficients of these bullets play at 100 yards. This bullet here is a Hornady SST, 123 grain, coming from the 6.5 Grendel. This has a G1 ballistic coefficient of 0.51, which is pretty good, pretty high ballistic coefficient bullet. This is a 300 grain Hornady FTX bullet coming from the 50 Beowulf. This has a 0.2 ballistic coefficient. So it's like a flying ashtray versus a dart in the air. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some initial muzzle readings with the velocities here at about seven, 10 yards or so. Three shots each, we'll do an average. Then I'm gonna move the chronograph to 100 yards and we're gonna put some bullets up there. We'll see how much of a velocity loss we get with the high ballistic coefficient bullet and the very low ballistic coefficient bullet and how much energy we're losing at 100 yards versus the muzzle. To keep it fair, we're gonna be using very similar firearms, 16 inch barrel. This is the Grendel and 16 inch barrel 50 Beowulf. So it doesn't really matter because the starting velocities are gonna be the starting velocities and the end velocities are gonna be the end velocities no matter if it's 24 inch barrel versus 16. The ballistic coefficient is still gonna stay the same, but I always try to keep things as, as fair as I can. I think this is, that's as fair as I'm gonna be able to get it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and load up and get our initial up close muzzle velocities. All right, first up, 50 Beowulf. Nineteen twenty-four. Two thousand two. Nineteen eighty-one. Six point five Grendel. Twenty three twenty two back at magnification battle. Twenty three ninety four. Twenty three ten. Okay, so our average velocity with the Beowulf was 1969, three shots. And our average with the Grendel was 2308. Now we are at 100 yards up there. Wish me luck on not shooting my chronograph. Never shot through it this far before. I think I got everything lined up. This is only a four power scope, so I don't doubt I'll be able to see if I'm getting ratings or not, but we're going to send three up there and then we'll go look together. All right. Come on, chronograph. Stay in one piece. didn't hit my chronograph. Let's go see if we got some velocities. All right, let's review here. Third shot was 1566. Second shot, 1668. First shot was 1618. Average, 1617. Let's try out the Grendel. I don't know about y'all, but that seems like an awful lot of velocity loss from that Beowulf. Let's see how this higher ballistic coefficient bullet does.
I still can't see. This is an eight power optic. And I still can't see if we got readings or not. So let's go take a look. I don't know if y'all can see these or not. It's awful bright out here. But we got 2116. We have 2147. And we have 2140. That's really consistent. Then average 2134. So I was sitting here calculating these numbers, crunching these numbers out for you guys, and I realized I'm a gun nerd. And I've also realized that you guys are still watching, so you're gun nerds too. <laughs> Can't deny it. Anyways, here is our final numbers. At the muzzle, 50 Beowulf gave us 1,969 feet per second. Average, 2,582 foot-pounds of energy. At 100 yards, 1,617 feet per second average, 1,742 uh, foot-pounds of energy. That's a 352 feet per second loss, 840 foot-pounds of energy loss at 100 yards. Over here, our 6.5 Grendel, 2,308 at the muzzle, seven yards or so. 1,455 foot-pounds of energy, 100 yards, 2,134, 1,244 foot-pounds of energy, 174 feet per second loss at 100, 211 foot-pounds of energy loss at 100 yards. Now, what do I think of that? I think, since the title of this video is how much ballistic coefficient plays a factor, I'm gonna say it plays a huge factor, even at just 100 yards. Granted, these are drastically different bullets. There's no denying that. This is a fat, heavy bullet going fairly slow. This is a very slender, sleek, high ballistic coefficient bullet going mediocre speeds to start with. But just from this little example here, I think this shows that ballistic coefficient plays a big factor even at, at distances of just 100 yards. If you were to double this to 200 yards, you're getting, you're getting really, really iffy on your energy because that's if you dropped another 840, which I know this equation isn't linear, you're not going to lose 100 or 840 exactly at another 100 yards. I know that, but let's just say you did, you lost 840 more. Now you're below a thousand foot pounds of energy, which for taking a deer, a thousand foot pounds of energy is recommended threshold a lot of times. So you know that's that's huge if you were to double this and lose a 200 211 more you're actually still above a thousand and you're starting out at way less energy than the grint than the uh, beowulf did so you know this is just one example be sure if you're you know make sure that you're you're whatever you're hunting with is capable at the distances that you're hunting with and to me, this, this really is eye-opening with this 50 Beowulf and that 0.2 ballistic coefficient. I'm really glad I did this test because I was curious and now I know. You guys were curious because you watched the video and now you know. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, stay tuned.